Hello my YouTube friend Pop Comics here and in today's video we're going to go through two long boxes of comic books. Both are kind of mystery boxes. I'm not 100% sure what's in them but I think it's going to be fun to dig through them. I have one long box here that comes from Leslie aka JKL Awesome from YouTube. He showed me some pictures a couple of days ago and it looked like he was selling some like better $40, $50 comic books. Maybe one or $200 comic books. And uh, it was about 40 comic books, 30 comic books, but he ended up bringing in a whole long box for me to go through. So it's a bit more than I thought, <laughs> but I'm excited. It looked like really fun stuff. So I think it's going to be fun to go through his box. I also have this long box that someone traded into my shop a couple days ago. It's full of Archie comic books. As you know, I've been sorting the office on the main channel for the last couple weeks. And uh, so I'm not in the shop during the day so much. I'm actually sleeping most days. Uh, but my wife said that someone wanted to trade in a box of Archie's. How much to give them? So sight unseen, I said, you know, I'll offer them 100 bucks trade. So he took $100 trade. They look like they're kind of lower grade. So it might not have been the best trade. But hopefully there's like a handful in there that I want for my own collection. And I'll probably end up just having a whole bunch of Archie's in my shop for like a buck a piece. Which they will sell eventually because people like buying Archie's to read. Okay, let's open up this box from Leslie. Okay, first stack from Leslie's box. He sent me some pictures. So I saw that he had some nice $10 to $40 books. He only showed me maybe like 20 books. But this is almost a full long box. So I think this is going to be kind of a fun mystery box. Because I don't know what's in it. I mean, the first Animaniacs issue right here. This is, he has it marked 15. I don't know if he was trying to sell it or he just priced them out. But that's a cool 90s cartoony comic. Oh, and then number two. Oh, that's cool. These are really cool, actually. Number three. Number four, number five. Let me move these over a little bit. Yeah, these are really cool. I like collecting this kind of stuff because this is very nostalgic. Number uh, 10, number 12. So there's a whole run of these. This is awesome. I'm not sure. I might have a couple of these, but not a full run like this. So that's pretty amazing. He's got these all at $5. That sounds about right for this kind of thing. Uh, anime X 19. Uh, okay, he has some of the Amalgam stuff. Lobo the Duck, number one. This stuff is getting to be more popular every day. Uh, Dark Claw, number one. Dark Claw, number one. All right, this looks like a whole other stack of Amalgam comics. Uh, Spider Boy, number one. Spider Boy Team Up. Magneto and the Magnetic Men. Couple different versions of that assassins number one i probably have most of these but they're super fun speed demon challengers of the fantastic iron lantern dr strange feet <laughs> these are pretty cool actually uh bruce wayne agent of shield bullets and bracelets super soldier uh x patrol and X Patrol. Okay, those are a lot of fun. Okay, next stack. It looks like we have an Archie, our free comic day. Oh, gift. So he's giving me that. <laughs> That's cool. And Mickey Mouse. Uh, Archie 550. So I guess he's giving me the Archies. Oh, thank you, Leslie. That's really nice of you. Those are cool. That looks like it was like a special giveaway or something. Uh, Action 445. That's a fun Nick Cardi cover. Love that. Oh, Action 835. So this is the first live wire in the main continuity. That's cool. So that's a key issue. Uh, Blade Wizard 1.5. That's neat. Beavis and Butthead number one. That's a nice key issue. Uh, Batman 359. I believe this is the first Killer Croc. He put purple on that. I wonder if that if he thinks it's restored or... Not sure. It's a little bit lower screen, but that's still really cool. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 317. Awesome Tom McFarlane cover. Uh, a little bit beat up, but still cool. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 344, the first Cletus Cassidy. That's cool. That's a key issue. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 346, cool Venom cover. 347, another cool Venom cover. 363, newsstand, the third appearance of Carnage, I believe. Oh, Amazing Fantasy number one, the first appearance of Varana. That is cool. That's a fun key issue. Uh, and then number one... I guess the Heart of the Spider series. That one I don't have. I have a bunch of those, but not that one. That's super cool. Yeah, his stuff in general is not just dollar bin stuff, but low key, you know, 10 to 30 or $40 keys so far. This is awesome. I'm going to owe him some money. Hulk number nine, cool cover. Contest of Champions number one. I think this is the first appearance of White Fox and a couple other characters. Uh, Batman or Robin Eternal. He's got 50 bucks on it. Oh, it's a Comic Con exclusive. That's why. That is cool. 
And then the Colonel of Two Worlds. He's got Hunch on that. That's a weird uh, KFC mashup. That is cool. Uncanny X-Men 131. Awesome. Uncanny X-Men copy. Uh, Days of Future Past Part 2. That is awesome. Pretty high grade too. That might be an upgrade for me. Oh, and he has both the newsstand and the direct. Oh, wow. Those are cool. Uh, Infinite Crisis 3. I think this is the first cameo of uh, Jaime Reyes, I think. And number three, the sketch. Oh, that's cool. And then this is the first appearance of him as Blue Beetle. Those are going to go up in value, I think, when the movie comes out. And then uh, number five, sketch. Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe the speculation is already up, but... They hired the actor that plays Miguel on Cobra Kai, and I think he's really good in that series. So I'm, you know, I'm excited to see what he does with Blue Beetle. This is the first Gravars, I guess. That's interesting. Leslie's a big Star Wars fan, so he'll know what that is. Uh, Darth Vader number one variant editions. I believe that's the Black Coruscant series, so that's his first appearance. But uh, as a uh, Scotty Young variant, so that's probably pretty rare. Oh wow. We got Kanan number one, which is the first appearance of a lot of the Rebels characters, I believe, in like Cameo. That, wow, that's a cool one. Awesome Mark Brooks cover. Okay, and then he's got more from the series. I love the covers on these series. Very awesome art. And then I think number like eight or nine is the first full appearance of most of them. Yeah, oh, number six, I'm guessing, because he's got 200 on there. So I think this is the first like full appearance of Ezra. Uh, Chopper, Sabine, and Hera. And uh, oh, I'm drawing a blank on his name. And I think number one is their first like cameo. So, wow, that's a nice key issue. Uh, number seven and number eight. Wow, we got some big books in here. I thought it was going to be $40 books, but we got a few books in here in the hundreds. I don't mind. I love comic books. I want to buy big boy book collections. Okay, number 10. Number 11. Now, I think I only have four or five from the series, so actually getting the full run is pretty awesome. Uh, number 12. Number 12, I think, is another key. Uh, Superman Action Comics. This is fun. It's a uh, Bill and Ted's like movie poster version. Aquaman, oh, that's awesome. Oh, the Batgirl one is super cool. Looks like uh, Princess Purple Rain. Uh, Batman Joker cover. Ooh, uh, Matrix Detective cover. Uh, from what I know of values, I think he's pretty accurate, though. Just, like, seeing what he's gotten on these stickers. I feel like he's been accurate. Selena Kyle. The Flash. I like that one. That's a uh, Hitchcock cover, I guess. That one's cool. Oh, that one's cool, too. <laughs> these are all cool. The 2001 cover. Uh, Forbidden Planet cover. These are neat. Harley Quinzel. DC Comics presents Harley Quinn. I don't think I have that one. Cool. Uh, Justice League movie poster. Okay, the movie poster ones are super awesome. All right, I'm going to clear these and then get the next stack. All right, next stack we have, we have a Beetlejuice movie cover from Justice League Dark. That one's a lot of fun. Uh, Mars Attack cover. I love these poster covers. Sinestro is a Westworld. Supergirl is Wizard of Oz. Uh, Superman is Superfly. Uh, Superman Wonder Woman as uh, Gone with the Wind. No. Drawing a blank. This is one of those old classic movies. Oh, Teen Titans as the Lost Boys. That one's cool. Wonder Woman. It came from Krypton. That is fun. Oh, so we have some Monster of the Month covers. So he has a whole set of these. These are super fun. Not super valuable, but I think they're just cool. I really enjoy those. Lots of cool uh, monster covers. Oh, that looks like a Michael Arwood cover. That is fun. Oh, we got a couple of those. Catwoman, Cyborg, Deathstroke. Okay, those are super cool. Another stack. I guess he was trying to collect all of them. Or maybe he did, because it looks like all of them. <laughs> I think that's a Jenny Friesen cover. That's cool. I don't think I've seen that one. So a bunch more Monster of the Month covers. Really like these. These are awesome. Yeah, I don't think I've seen half of these. So it's really fun to get them all in one collection like this. So it kind of just makes it easier for me to have them all. Oh, the Headless Horseman Starfire. That is cool. Superman, I guess it's supposed to be a Godzilla cover. I think that says Superman. Super, it's probably Superman in Japanese. <laughs> Superman, Wonder Woman. Oh, Teen Titans. Wonder Woman. Action Comics 46. Aquaman. Batman. 
These are the Looney Tunes variants. Now, these are actually a lot of fun as well. All right, this is cool. It's like he collected all of these two, and these are all homages to other covers. So this is super fun. Uh, Darwin Cook stuff is awesome. Yeah, I really like these. These are a ton of fun. We've got the Flash. And I don't think I have many. I have like three or four in my collection. So this is a big old collection. This one, he's got a 25. I guess the Marvel and the Martian one is people really like. It's a cool cover indeed. That's a fun Harley Quinn one. I haven't seen that before. Actually, I haven't seen a lot of these before. This is actually kind of shocking to me. I guess a lot of people didn't buy the Looney Tunes ones because I don't really get them traded in that often. But I think these are just amazing fun. Uh, Sinestro 17. Uh, Starfire, but Starfire is trying to kiss Pepe Le Pew instead of reverse. That is cool. He's got 55 on that. I can kind of see why that one is uh, a little bit more in demand. Superman versus the Crusher. Uh, Superman, Wonder Woman. That is fun. Teen Titans. So it looks like I guess they did this for a couple of months. Uh, all new Wolverine Venomized version. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man Venomized. Okay, so he has a whole set of the Venomized ones. None of the earlier, more expensive ones, but these are still super cool. Uh, Black Panther Venomized. Captain America Venomized. Uh, Champions Venomized. Deadpool Ven Okay, these are super cool. Really excited to get those. Uh, okay, we have a whole lot more. Doctor Strange. So it looks like he tried to get all of these. I haven't seen this one before. That one's cool. So Gwenpool Venomized, uh, Gamora, Ghost Rider Venomized, Inhumans Venomized, Invincible Iron Man Venomized, uh, Man-Thing Venomized, that one's cool, that one's really cool. Uh, Occupy Avengers Venomized, that one I think I pulled out of a dollar bin. Uh, Old Man Logan Venomized, that's fun, like a cartoony version. Uh, Spider-Gwen Venomized, that's neat. Spider-Man Deadpool Venomized. Thanos Venomized. Uh, totally Awesome Hulk Venomized. The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl Venomized. All right, it's really fun to see these collections where he just collected all the different versions of each set. That is actually really cool. X-Men Prime number one Venomized. Uh, okay, Marvel Hip Hop Covers. Does this, this says free. Does this show all of them? I know these are kind of valuable and in demand. So I don't know if this is like a guide to all of them. I know my friend Sean is trying to get all of them. I know I have that one and that one. I'm not sure if I have that one. Iron Man. Yeah, so this must be all the different covers in one like just a book that puts them all together. Okay, so that's really cool to have actually. Alright, actually let me move the sides before I start going through the hip hop covers. Okay, so we got the hip hop cover guide. We got the A Force NWA cover. That one's cool. I think that's Adam Hughes art. It's got that 25, which sounds about right on that issue. Oh, yeah, this is a whole stack of the hip hop covers. Uh, we got Agents of Shield. Uh, all new Hawkeye number one. So some of these, it looks like they're kind of cheap. All new and humans number one, but some of these I've also have not seen. Wolverine number one, I know this is one of the more expensive ones. He's got 65, that sounds right. Uh, all new X-Men number one. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number one. So it's like, it has to be the right comic book with the right album cover, I think. <laughs> Astonishing Ant-Man, uh, Avengers standoff. Black Knight number one. T'Challa, Black Panther, number one. That one's cool. Uh, Black Widow, number one. Nice Noto art. Uh, Captain Marvel, number one. I wonder if this one is tanking. Carnage, Welcome to the Darkness, number one. That one's cool. I'm actually not sure which ones of these I need. So this is kind of cool to get a whole bunch at once. Uh, Civil War II. Civil War II, the uh, Terry Dotson version. Daredevil, number one. Deadpool number one, Deadpool number seven, uh, Deadpool Mercs for Money number one, Doctor Strange number one, that one's cool, uh, Drax number one, Extraordinary X-Men number one, Guardians of the Galaxy number one, Hercules number one, Howard the Duck number one, that one's cool, 
That one seems to be a bit more expensive. <laughs> okay, we have the uh, Howling Commandos. I really like that one. I think that one's fun. Hulk, number one. Hyperion, number one. Illuminati, number one. International Iron Man, number one. Invincible Iron Man, number one. Jean Grey, number one. You know what? Some of, like this one, I've never seen that one before. Kingpin, number one. I don't think I've seen this one either. A lot of these, I don't think I've seen in person. So I must need a lot of these. Mighty Thor, number one. This one I have a few of. Miss Marvel, number one. That one has some value. Uh, New Avengers, number one. Ed Piscar cover. That's actually really cool. Uh, Nova, number one. Old Man Logan, number one. Uh, Patsy Walker, number one. Power Man Iron Fist, number one. Uh, Red Wolf, number one. Rocket Raccoon and Groot, number one. Uh, Sam Wilson, Captain America, number one. Okay, and then one more stack. We have uh, Scarlet Witch, number one, m, m cover. That's cool. Uh, Silk, number one. That's a beautiful cover. Uh, Silver Surfer, number one. Silver Surfer, number one, and reverse. Uh, Spider Gwen, number one. Oh, the Miles Morales, number one, Nas cover. That one is probably the most expensive out of the set. Spider-Man Deadpool 1, that one's kind of expensive too. Uh, Spider-Man 2099, number one. Uh, Spidey, number one. Squadron Supreme, number one. Star-Lord, number one. Uh, Starbrand and Nightmask, number one. Uh, Steve Rogers, Captain America, number one. A couple copies of that. Uh, totally Awesome Hulk number one. That one's got a 40, so I guess that's a rarer one. Uh, the Ultimate number one. That one's cool. 20 bucks he's got on that. Uh, Squirrel Girl number one. Gwenpool number one. Uh, X-Men number one. US Avengers number one. Honestly, when I see these, they kind of blend in together. <laughs> like, none of them really hit me except for, like, this few really awesome ones. But I think they're neat cool Keith but every time I get them I'm just like it just feels like it's part of a set and I don't really think of them as individual pieces the vision number one that one's a little bit more expensive uh web warriors number one uh, weird world number one and x-men 92 number one that one's pretty cool actually okay so that's everything in Leslie's box I think he had a lot of really cool comic books to trade in okay let's take through this box of Archie comics Okay, so this is the first stack from the box. If you guys see anything jump out as having value, let me know. I probably know off the top of my head if any of these have, you know, a higher value. Uh, but most of these are kind of lowish grade. So whatever I'm not keeping for my collection, I'll probably put out for a buck in the shop. Just because they're low grade. People will buy them just to read them. Uh, Veronica and Rome, that's cool. Uh, this one definitely has a value. It's mid-grade though. I know in high grade, this one can get to like 50 bucks. This one I think has a little bit of value too. Uh, let's see. Yeah, all these are kind of, they feel like damaged. They are damaged. This one also had some value. If it was in higher grade, lower grade, I still think it'd probably be worth five bucks in that grade though. Uh, this one also has some value. Although that one feels thin, so I don't know if it's missing pages. Would be really cool is if there was like a first Cheryl Blossom mixed in here. That would be pretty amazing, actually. Oh, this is a really fun Halloween cover. But yeah, these are all uh, lowish grade. So nothing, you know, but it's fine. Because at 300 comic books, even if I get a dollar piece, that's $300 in value I got in the trade. So I'm actually happy with that. And I know some of the stuff I will want, even if it's low grade, just to fill in the collection until I can find a nicer one. Uh, Betty and Veronica, we got some earlier bronze stuff. Oh, Super Richie number four. That's cool. I like the earlier Richie Rich stuff. Archie, Archie. Archie, World of Archie. Okay, yeah, we're getting a lot of dollar bin stuff. Okay, Life with Archie, 266. Okay, I'm just going to blast through these just because I don't know how many people are actually excited for Archie comics. <laughs> But it's fine. If you know something about them, you can let me know if I'm passing up anything that has more value than, like, well, this one's a little bit better condition, so that might be a little bit more. But for most part, most of these are kind of low grade. Oops, there's one on the back, too. I do like the newer ones, though, because you don't get those as often. I kind of like the older ones and the newer ones. Everything in between, eh, not as much. G. 
Okay. And uh, uh, also don't really want to spend a lot for this stuff, but I do want it in my collection. So like these are actually kind of a little bit nicer, like finds, bid grade ones. Although not that one, but that's actually kind of cool. I thought they're all going to be completely low grade, but kind of mid grade is okay. Okay, we got a... Oh, I just bought this one for a dollar at a New York Comic Con. <laughs> the one I grabbed was a nice grade, so that one's an easy sell. But it's a nice, it's a little bit better, so I could probably get two bucks. Any of these, if they're in nicer mid grade, I can get two bucks out of. And if they're in high grade, maybe three dollars, unless it's a Silver Age one, then who knows? It could be five, it could be eight, it could be ten bucks. That one's fun. Some of these are coverless. That one's damaged. Yeah, these are well loved, well read comics. I didn't, uh, I didn't look at them, so I just didn't know what the uh, the value would be. <laughs> I, was, I gave a hundred dollars in store credit, so whatever they took, I wouldn't have paid more than fifty dollars for. So I think this is okay. That's probably like fifteen cents a piece, which uh, maybe I should have even pay lower for condition. <laughs> oh, this is like a lot of these uh, '90s issues. So I do need a lot of these for my collection. So I might just keep a lot just to have them for now, even though they're lowish grade. Oh, and that one's just a cover. Oh yeah, this is just the condition though. This is the kind of stuff I might just end up putting it out too and not even want to deal with sorting into my collection just because of how low the grade is on all these. I just feel like this is a big solid dollar bin right there. You know, and I didn't even do this deal. My wife did it. She just said someone was bringing in a box of Archie's. I was like, yeah, you could probably give them a hundred and trade. <laughs> I didn't see the condition though. It's a little bit, that one's kind of cool though. It's kind of lower than I would like. Uh, Richie Rich, that's cool. Uh, this one's not too bad. I like the old Richie Riches. But let me move these stacks a little bit. Good Jughead, Archie. Uh, these are coverless. My life with Archie's fun. Archie, life with Archie. I do really like the life with Archie covers. They're more fun because they're more adventurous. It's not just like teen rom-com, but more like an exciting adventure. Uh, all right. Let me scooch these over. Uh, I do like any of these are in a little bit better shape. I do like that. So what I might do is I might sort these based on condition and not really what it is and just keep the nicer ones for the collection. Everything else goes in the dollar bin. Archie 3000. Uh, ooh, a fun Casper. That's cool. Oh, Sabrina 49. That one's actually in pretty decent shape. Like it's got a little bit of damage, but it's not terrible. Okay, that's neat. I really like she's playing with the little monster figures. That's a really cool issue. Pep, Life with Archie. Laugh out, Pep. Archie 3000, Palace and Gals. Archie Laugh. All right, I'm just gonna blast through these. Um, I think these 90s Richie Riches are probably kind of rare too. I don't see these too often. Wish they were in better shape though. They were in nice, you know, near mint condition. I'd be thrilled to have them. Okay, nothing there. Okay, another stack. All right, this is turning out to be just kind of boring for me just because of the condition. I was hoping there would be at least one kind of like rarer issue or a chunk that was in better shape. Like if I saw these at a garage sale for 50 bucks for the box, I might pass on them, honestly. Unless I find one issue. I just have to find like one issue that jumps out as more valuable. Just old for me when it comes to Archie's, it needs to be older. Oh, the Sabrina's kind of have a little bit of value, but it has to be older or like a first appearance or something a little bit more exciting than this. Uh, like I'm, I'm sure you're. <laughs> oh, that car is cool. Beat up though. Zillions love my Richie Rich. That was one of those comics I loved reading as a kid. You could get them out of the quarter bin and then just read an adventure treasure hunting which i still love to this day okay yeah i'm just blasting through these not the next exciting there are a few modern issues that i want that are kind of neat 
If that was in here in decent shape, I'd be happy with that. RG379. But I think even if I hit like a first yellow blossom or something of value, I uh, the condition will probably be really low. Therefore, I wouldn't be as excited for it because it's like, could if it was in nice shape, it would be a few hundred bucks, but beat up, it might be a dollar. More than a dollar, but you know what I mean. Okay, RG and me. Okay, yeah, we're just blasting through those. All right. Man, this is uh, kind of a boring stack of beat up comics. Oh, well, Madhouse comics are cool, but it's terrible shape. Terrible shape. Otherwise, it'd be a cool comic book. All new Archies, new Archies, Jughead. Yeah, some of these are just like this one is just the cover. Jughead, Jughead. So I wonder if I could match the covers with a few of the coverless ones. This one's colored in. Jughead. Yeah, I'll probably be able to figure out which cover goes to the coverless ones. Jughead. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm just going to put these out for a dollar. Okay, next deck. Betty and Veronica. Oh, see, this one's cool. That's one I would love to have. I love the Halloween themed ones, but it's in such bad shape. All right, that's a shame. Betty and Veronica. Good news is, if you like to read them, these are still very readable even when they're beat up. So for anyone who wants them for a buck to read, perfect. Especially some of these newer ones from the 90s, you just don't see them as often. So they're a little bit harder. I think like the ones from the 70s, they printed tens, hundreds of thousands. Uh, by the 90s though, I think a lot of these, they only printed like 5,000. And by the late 90s, early 2000s, it might be like two to 4,000 on all of them. Very, very low print runs. Riverdale, that's a fun monster cover. Okay, now I'm hitting a batch uh, after this stack that are in bags. Maybe the ones that they had bagged are better. Which, this is just all falling apart. It's a pile. I'm kind of hoping once we get to the bag ones, we actually find a little tread. Oh, Google comic book. Coverless, though. Uh, Shower Blossom number two would have a little value if it was in good shape, but it's not. Uh, Katie Keen and Sis. Katie Keen number 24 from the 80s. Sabrina cover. This is probably the issue for that. Or this is the issue for that, I don't know. <laughs> Betty and me, or the Archie, or the Archie. No, okay, we're getting into bag ones. Okay, this one actually looks like it's in good shape. Okay, we got a couple in good shape, that's good. The more in good shape, the better. Um, Porky Pig, the Archie. This one looks in better shape too. Okay, it looks like there's maybe 40 or 50 more that are in bags. So I'm hoping this actually the end here, these last ones are in nicer shape because that would be cool. Those I can add to my collection. As long as it's like a very fine or better, I am happy. A fine is acceptable, but anything that's just really torn up, I don't want. Uh, Archie 601. Uh, okay, we have some newer stuff. Oh, Vampironica number four. That's cool. I like the Archie Horror. And number five, those are neat. All new Archie four. And Veronica 5. Okay, that's neat as well. Archie 699. Blossom 666. So we got some more of the horror stuff. Those are really cool, actually. Okay, we have a whole stack of these modern ones. Horror and others. And these look to be in pretty good shape. Uh, is this the Adam Hughes series? No, not the Adam Hughes series. Betty and Veronica number 1. A couple of those. Uh, number one, different variant. Third variant. A couple of those. Oh. Okay, this will be easy to sort though because I can pull one of each out. <laughs> Keep one, sell one. Uh, ben and Veronica, number two. I mean, some of these I kind of like. I think they're kind of cute. I don't like them as much as like the good old classic, you know, 1950s ones, but these are cool. Interior that was kind of boring. Oh, that's a Jen Bartel cover. That one's cool. Really like that one. Love Jen Bartel artwork. A uh, number three, number three, different variant. A uh, Riverdale High. Pep Comics. 
Free Comic Book Day. A Red Sonia and Betty Veronica. I like this mashup series. Oh, and the Archie Meets Batman mashup series is fun. Riverdale. A Betty Veronica. Vixen's Hunted. So some more newer series. 1941. 1941. So a bunch of those. World War II comics. Uh, all new Archie number three. Mm. Okay, and then uh, the final stack looks like more newer Archie stuff. And these ones are a little bit beat up. But they're fun to collect. I like getting the newer stuff. Uh, Archie and Katie King. I don't know if I have any from that series. No, it's Archie 7-Eleven by a Katie King story. Okay, that's cool. Archie and Sabrina. Archie and Katie King. Jughead, The Hunger vs. Vampironica. That's fun. RT 1955. A lot of these are still sealed. I don't know if these were subscription copies. Yeah, these are subscription copies. They're still in their original subscription bags. That's fun. The Married Life. I guess he did he marry Cheryl Blossom. Who did he marry? I don't know. Archie vs. Predator. That's fun. Because it's homage to Archie number one from the new series. Jughead Time Police. That cover looks cool. Archie Predator 2. Betty number six, Betty number 11, uh, Betty Veronica Spectacular seven, actually a couple copies of that. Number six, Archie and Friends, Riverdale High, Betty Veronica three, and number four, and Betty number 13. Okay, um, I mean, it was fun to go through them, but they weren't in the best shape, so that was a little bit of a disappointment, but uh, again, just going through comic books. Any day I can go through a pile of comic books is a good day. Woo! Digging through comic books is always fun. I'm going to put another epic comic haul video right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!